if you have an alter version of MLA format you must check to, then you can also set up MLA format in Google Docs manually. The first thing you want to do is go to the toolbar and change the font to Times New Roman and the font size to 12. To make sure that the layout of the paper is properly adjusted, head to the line spacing on the toolbar and change it to double. Next, you need to ensure that the document has 1 inch margins all the way around. To do so, click the File button and then select Page Setup. Check to see if all margins are 1 inch wide. To add a header with your last name, simply double click the upper part of the document. Change it to font size 12 and Times New Roman font as well. Then select Right Align. Now you can type in your last name followed by space to add the page number. To do it, select Insert tab, then Page Numbers, and click the top right page number. To deselect the header, click anywhere below it. You may now type in your name, the instructor's name, the course name, and the due date by date, month, and year format on separate lines. Press Enter to go to the next line, and then select Center Align in the toolbar, and type in the title of your paper. Then press Enter again to go to the next line, and then select Left Align. Press the Tab key to indent, then you may now start typing your first paragraph. After you finish the body of your paper, select Insert, then select Break, and choose Page Break to create a blank page for the work cited. The last page of your paper should begin with the words Work Cited centered below the heading. The format for each work cited entry is different depending on the format of the source. But here's an example. Therefore, an entry for an MLA cited article may appear as follows. Sources should be arranged alphabetically by the author's surname, and all works cited entries should have a hanging indent. To do so, highlight all of the text in your works cited page, then choose Format, and select Line and Indent, and choose Indentation Options. The Indentation Options dialog box would appear, then from the Special Indent drop-down box, select Hanging. Then you may click Apply. Now you have set up MLA format with the Works Cited page in Google Docs. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. You may also click and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified from whenever we release new videos.